Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to have a little bit of fun today. Um, I'm going to give my versions of uh, the 12 Assassin's Creed games, okay? And i give you my views on them. You might not agree. I understand. Not everyone will agree with me, okay? But this is my opinion of them. So let's get on and see what I think, okay? Enjoy. I make no apologies for the unbiased excitement I have for open world games, specifically Assassin's Creed. Okay? What's not to love? The protagonists have got everything going for them. Right? We all love to be that character. There's going to be new games like Mirage and Hex, Codename Red, Codename Jade. You know, these are coming our way. Unfortunately, when you play these games, you have your favourites and you have your worst. So, today, I'm putting together what I believe to be the 12 from worst to best. In 12th, I have Assassin's Creed Unity. Like a little Le Les Mis, Assassin's Creed Unity has you controlling Arno. His thoughts of French Revolution, a tale that is clearly so beautiful to look at. In fact, despite being the worst game right in the franchise, I believe, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity is one of the most gorgeous with a Paris that feels so well designed and realized. It's ranked last thanks to its dismal glitches. Its performance issues, despite being patched out by today, hang over the game like an unshakable cloud. Okay, so what did you think of that? Number 11, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Despite being an Ezio fronted game, clearly and pretty arguably the most beloved character in the franchise, Revelations just doesn't manage to hit the ones that came before because it's simply the least memorable. Even though moving from Italy to Constantinople should have felt thrilling and fresh. I think with Revelations, it feels a bit stale. But it is Ezio, okay? Take a
Okay, so you know what happens after that. So, number 10. Assassin's Creed Rogue. I think what makes uh, Rogue so special is that it flips the narrative um, as you play Shay, a Templar. It's fun to be a vengeful uh, former assassin playing from the other side. Where Rogue falters is it was released in the shadows of Unity. Unity was the next-gen console flagship release and Rogue for the gen before. It's built on the engine of a game much better, much more popular, which holds back Rogue from truly ascending higher amongst ranked Assassin's Creed games, in my opinion. So let's take a look at a bit of Rogue. Life's hardest choices are the ones that force you to question your own moral code. My choice has led me here, standing against those I once called brothers. History may brand me traitor, rebel, or renegade. Okay, 12, 11, and 10. What do you think? I think I've got them right. I'm going to put together the next ones in a new video. So come back, take a look, give me your opinion, make sure you make some comments. And if you don't agree with me, let me know. And let's not forget, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss the next one. Until next time, I'm back into the shadows.